Hello everybody, this is Michelle Fox and welcome back to The Simple Quilter. Today I'm going to be uh, organizing the bookcase behind me. It's become quite a disaster and I want to get it organized. It's one of the few spaces left in my quilt room that really needs to be organized well and I'm going to show you how I'm going to tackle that. But let me step aside and show you what a mess it is. Alright, the first step I'm going to take is I'm going to take off the cookbooks and the books that don't belong in here. In a previous video I told you that I was going to remove the cookbooks and the books in here that didn't apply to quilting. Well I haven't gotten that done yet. I kept putting that off but I am going to do that today and I'm going to show you how removing those few things creates some more space. Okay so I have a box to put the cookbooks in that I want to move out of here and a trash bag so I can start taking out some of the trash that's on my um, bookcase here. And I have a little bin to put things in that I need to take to another area in our house. For example, I need to put this blue tape where it goes. Here's some pans. Here's a new little instrument. I need to put my thank you cards away. I need to put this and this change away. I need to move these into the cabinet where I store my oils for my machines. Oh my gosh, another one of those bags that I need to get rid of. A dust rag that needs to be put in dirty laundry. Christmas lights. Really, these need to go elsewhere also. Okay, a little bit more trash. I'm going to turn the camera off now while I take off the cookbooks. And go through there's I need to go through these papers right here to see which of these are trash so I'll be back in just a few minutes okay so I want to show you a little bit of the progress that I've made now um, I did empty up the bin and put the things back where they go I don't want to end up with a great big pile of more stuff to do when I get this organized so I want to try to take care of this as I go but let me show you what I've gotten done so far. So, so far I removed the cookbooks and put those, took those to the kitchen and I've dusted off that shelf. I kind of cleaned off the top shelf. It was dusty and it had that pile of paper here. I'm not sure I want to leave this here. Um, it seems to be kind of a catch-all. I may end up moving that and then this little antique recipe box. I'm going to take that to the kitchen. Um, this is an old thread holder, but the threads today don't fit in this very well. So I'm not exactly for sure what I'm going to do with this, but I may be getting rid of this. Now, um, I'm going to put that in my tub to do something with. Um, now what I want to try to do, I want to try to create a space for the containers for my um, sewing machine parts. Like these right here are the parts to my um, mother's old antique Singer sewing machine, so I want to keep those. And then I have a container for my Bernina and my Juki sewing machines. And I really think I want to just put those over here with their instruction manuals so um, I'll know exactly where they are. And it will free up a little bit of space on my sewing counter. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I have a lot of books and magazines down here and I'm going to try to organize these, go through them and see which ones I want to keep and which ones I want to get rid of. Now, um, I have a little thing I want to show you. This was just a little decorative box and I just think it's so cute. I want to keep this, but inside here I have my um, quilt related note cards and when I give a quilt away I tell them a little bit about the quilt in here. I put a color catcher in one of these and I give them that with the quilt along with the instructions on how to care for the quilt. So I'm going to keep that in here and I may end up just putting that right back where that goes. And these are just cards, um, different cards that I have, thank you cards, uh, birthday cards just that I keep for special occasions and uh, I do use those on a regular basis so I'm going to keep those. Um, now these two boxes store some old buttons. Eventually I want to go through these 
and get rid of these, but for today I'm not going to tackle what's in those. I have another stack that I want to show you that I'm going to go through. Um, a lot of times I keep some of my favorite cards. Uh, collected quite a pile here, so I think I'm going to go through these and just narrow them down for a few, a few of my most favorites again. So I'm going to thin this out. Okay, once I get some more of the neck shelves done, I'll show you what that's going to look like. Okay, so I went through my little stack of pick-me-up cards. And again, these are the cards that have been given to me over the years that are some of my favorites. They have special messages written in them, and I could only get rid of three or four. So, uh, most people might say throw them away, but when I'm having a down day, I can read these and, and have a, a great pick-me-up. So, I'm actually going to keep these. Okay, so I've gotten most everything the way I want it. I've taken the books that, and notebooks that belong elsewhere in the house to those places. For example, I put the bird and flower book out in the camper because that's where I use it. Um, I use it when we go and use our camper. And then I put the cookbooks in the kitchen. So I took care of all that. Um, my granddaughter, uh, the books for my granddaughters have kind of accumulated here and we have another place where we keep a few so I put a few of those back where they belong and straightened up her area so um, I did go through my quilt books a little bit but I didn't get rid of any because I've really scaled those down before and the ones I have are pretty much the ones that I'm still wanting to keep but I did sort through them to look at those so I do want to give you um, a look at the after so I'll do that and then I'll give you a little close-up. Okay, so right here you can see um, the top is has been decluttered and I did dust it and clean it off. And I did move this from the top shelf down to one of the others because this was a catch-all and this now holds my granddaughter's um, she loves to play with these cards. Now this is actually for both of my granddaughters, but one's still pretty little. So uh, anyway, and a few books back there, just smaller, smaller books. So you can see the top looks much better. And this wire basket holds um, some of the most current patterns that I've purchased. And I have been through this before, and there aren't any in there that I want to get rid of. So that's those. But I thought it just looks a lot more decluttered than before. And definitely a lot cleaner. Now, I decided to put my cute little Dollar Tree canisters right here. They're going to, uh, that freed up some countertop space on my counters. And uh, they look cute there, and they're easy to access. Now here are the parts to my Juki and my um, old Singer machine that had belonged to my mother. This is just a big quilt book that I like to look through. I did put my pattern notebooks here, and then I put all of my electric quilt books right there. So they'll be easy for me to find. And this shelf and that shelf, none of these are tall enough for books except for the very bottom one for actual, you know, the regular sized books. Then clear down here on the bottom shelf, I still have my notebooks that hold um, magazine articles related to quilting and some of my paper quilt patterns. And then I had two of these containers. And I put my smaller um, little pamphlet style books in those. And I had a lot of them that were um, scrappy, so I decided to put my scrap quilt little pamphlet type books all in one. And then my panel quilts and my pre-cut little pattern booklets in the other one. And that will just kind of help keep them contained and help keep them together a little bit better. And then that, this holds my specialty rulers, and I've shown you all that before. So I'm pretty pleased with how this has turned out. Oh, and of course, these are the books for my granddaughters over there.
So I'm really pleased with how this turned out after I had reorganized and sorted through this um, bookshelf. As you could see earlier, it was a disaster and it really needed to be sorted through, straightened up, and cleaned up. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have any storage tips, please leave those in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, please share with a friend, and as always, leave a comment. I love to get the comments and I try to reply to each and every one. So until next time, have fun quilting.